Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This is the first in quite a few episodes I'm going to try to record here on the same day. It's daylight, and I'm actually getting a chance to record, which is a little crazy, though still the light not as great as it could be. Um, we're going to take a chance to hit as many as possible here, so they'll probably be somewhat shorter, and we're going to start with an episode here that is really short, outside of my quick explanation there, which is to circle back to something we've seen way, way too much already, and that is, and you're probably thinking, is it more VCDs? No, no, that's the next couple episodes. Um, this time, Spaceballs, yet again. Uh, on YouTube, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but I think I've parsed out the name, Devin N.Y. Troy, uh, username over on YouTube, uh, Devin N.Y. Troy pointed out, hey, here's yet another Spaceballs release that it doesn't look like you have. And I gotta say, it took a very sharp eye to spot this because I actually thought that I already had this one. Turns out I did not. So every time I saw it on eBay, my eyes just skimmed right past it because it is so similar to something we've seen before, which is what's going to make this able to be somewhat fast. You may recall that in 2000, we had this release of Spaceballs. This is the MGM DVD, red logo up there at the top, barf, scrub, and dark helmet there with the Winnebago and all, okay? But nothing written over here or anything, just the three main stars and then Mel Brooks' Spaceballs, right? And we saw the spine with Spaceballs and the characters there, the back. We looked at this previously. And inside, we of course had our insert that we looked at previously and that god-awful constantly reissued, widescreen on one side, full screen on the other side, dual-sided, but not dual-layer, DVD. Six years later, we saw this 2006 release here, which is similar, the main difference on the front being that they've changed the logo up at the top, so now instead of having the short red bits on either side, this says MGM DVD, instead it's just that blue line that says nothing. The back, again, was very similar. The spine was very similar. Again, not exactly the same, but similar. And while there is no insert, it is that same dual-sided DVD inside. What I had missed and what he had spotted was this one. This is from 2005. Notice it basically looks identical to the 2001 on the front, except this little bit here, screamingly funny, Los Angeles Times. That lets you know that it's different. You look at the spine, MGM slash DVD, Spaceballs, the three characters there, the MGM logo down at the bottom here, okay? But that makes it different for the one from 2000 because it's got the MGM DVD up here and the characters are set aside in their little kind of boxes here as opposed to being all just running together. But then if we compare that same one from 2005 to 2006, again, differences. Different color to MGM DVD, and the one from 2005 has the red line underneath to separate it, right? And then we have our characters again, except again, these are run together in 2006 like the 2001, rather than boxed like in 2005. And then of course our logo again down at the bottom. The same applies to the back being different. And again, the ones from 2000 and 2006 seem more similar to each other than the 2005 one in between is to either. This is the one from 2000. Big block of text with the picture in it. Um, our characters here. Little box to the side about special features. There's your cast crew information and legalese down at the bottom. Compare that to 2006. Slightly different alignment of your text up here. You got your special features box then instead of just having your cast crew information and then all the legalese kind of lumped together on the bottom, we have a differently laid out legalese that also includes that box of stats for this release. But if you look at the one from 2005, the one that he spotted that I didn't have yet, very different. Shorter description, no picture up at the top, stats along the bottom but very compressed, and then that cast crew information taken and sort of slung off to the side, booting out any box about the special features. Now you might say, well, does that mean that the disc has no special features? No, no. 
It's the same damn disc we've seen so many times. How could it be anything else? So yes, we have an oddball release of Spaceballs for 2005 in between the ones from 2000 and 2006 that doesn't particularly resemble either of them clearly, particularly when it comes to the back or the spines, though the front cover really only differs in terms of that quote. And yes, it's the same friggin' disc all over again. So, yet another Spaceballs added to the huge pile of Spaceballs releases as an offshoot of my Star Wars home video collection. Uh, we've talked about why Spaceballs is counted in many of the previous episodes dealing with Spaceballs, so we won't go into that again. With that, though, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Schwartz be with the home video viewers.